Hello my succulent friends, it's me, Suze, and I'm back, and it is the following morning, I've done my morning chores, and so I can play outside here now for a little bit. So yesterday when I was editing the video, uh, you know, I got a different perspective um, by looking at it through the footage, and I really don't like what I've done with the rocks. In actual fact, I nearly didn't even post that video because I'm not happy with it. But, you know, I'm just trying to keep it real and um, it just needs a little adjustment. I think I just overdid it. I th well, that rain yesterday, that was intense. I was insane. I think it just sort of threw me off a little bit. I was trying to rush through it. Definitely wasn't in a zen place. So... <sighs> I think these white ones are just too striking and I quite like how uh, the this tone blends into the um, the pot and um, while I'm here I'll give you a much better look at the texture it feels it feels like um, stone or cement or something I'm not sure what it's constructed from but the texture is really lovely and um, it's very muted and so are these and so I think what I'm going to do is take the white ones out really quick and play around with the darker ones. So as I was editing last night, I was also thinking maybe I should use some of my new um, plants and um, sort of tuck them inside the little crevices so it looks like it's growing amongst the rocks. So maybe some of these, um, this sort of thing. So that's a thought. Um, and just so you can see, I've still got quite a bit of pebbles. And so I think I might just save these white ones for a different project. Um, I think I was just so excited with all the stones. I just got a little too enthused. So let's begin. Okay. It's actually quite a pleasant day again. Um, I don't know. I guess spring's on its way really been focused on the day when you're home day in day out day after day uh sort of look, lose track of where, what day it is what month it is that sort of thing i'm sure many of you especially who are in lockdown at the moment uh can understand that feeling anyway um so maybe 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 we're heading out of the worst of the winter if that's the case I didn't get as many stressed succulents as I would in a typical winter. Um, so, don't know what that's about, but anyway, I'm not saying it's global warming. I definitely don't. Well, I think there's a lot of hype about that. So, anyway, Moon Australia is not a big contributor. I think there's countries in the world that need a lot more accountability. Than Australians. All right, enough of that. A little bit of a rant, sorry. Okay, another thing I was thinking about is I'm not that great yet for creating mounds and uh, height, and um, a lot of my arrangements do you have a little bit of a flat feel. Perhaps not. Maybe I'm, maybe that's just how I view it. But having said that, um, and yesterday as I was editing, I noticed, or it occurred to me, I should say, that I'd like to try and create height going down. Um, so I wonder if I can build up some some pebbles around this. So I'm trying to lift that up a little bit which obviously um, makes it a little bit hard to keep this upright because of the top heavy weight of it but these stones should work in my favour for it. So what I might do is just lay a few flat ones first More height, I think. This is so heavy, it's putting a lot of strain 
on this um, table. It's just a cheap little um, portable office. Well, it's more like a portable laptop table. Wait, wait, I want these ones on top. Yeah, um, I, I suspect a lot of you are probably thinking I, there was some room for improvement and I'm cool with that, you know, like I said, I haven't worked with these sort of stones before and it's, it's like playing with a little creativity, isn't it? I like the shape of that, reminds me of a moon. Well, that's behind, so I, I don't think I'm going to waste a good one there. Let's just... Yeah, I don't even have to really worry about most of that. I just want to give it... Um, stability is what I'm thinking, stability. Sometimes, sorry, I start... I, I talk and I drift off because I start thinking. All right, let's just try and straighten this baby up. Already, this is feeling a lot more. I don't know. Yesterday, I think I was just trying to force something. It was fun though, in the rain. It's definitely uh, a different video for me working under those conditions so it's a little bit amusing when I was watching it back for myself but I have a strange sense, sense of humour. Um, I did like the contrast against the chroma but I really think this dark grey, well not dark actually but mu muted, muted grey tones is um it's nice it sort of flows from the from the um arrangement to the to the to the bowl okay sorry i was drifting off again i was looking in the uh containers at the rocks at the stones just a few more and um i think that's good and then we'll see if we can get some of those other little plants in there love stones so much you know because I'm a crystal girl too rocks and minerals um, that I see the beauty in each piece which is lovely um, and it's uh, working against me because I want to uh, show off every stone <laughs> so I need more in that cavity because I want that higher Okay, wait, let me just dabble with one of these large white ones. It's definitely the size I need. Mm. No, no, just don't do it. Okay, let's just prop it up. Rock, we're, we're uh, rock pillowing. Let's make that a new term. Oh, rock pillowing. What did you do today? Oh, I rock pillowed. What about you? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, okay. Um, I did notice these ones here are a little bit lighter. That might add an interesting dimension. You just sort of put them in a little bit randomly. This one's a nice one. Look at that. No, no, no. I'm trying to angle it down silly I forgot okay okay no <laughs> the table's shaking there's so much weight oh god this probably weighs the same weight as a small child look you little critter These are the guys that are chewing up my leaves. This is interesting. Okay. And so these are a little bit smoother and a little bit smaller. So I might 
pop those in. And this is like perfectly round. You could carve on it and then you can turn it into a, 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 a Flintstone um, coin. Oh, am I being too pedantic? Yes. All right, all right. I like it so much better. So, so much better. I just thought I'd come over from this side. Uh, it's a little bit dark standing behind it. So it, it's, it's good. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Um, but it feels unfinished. So I think it just needs a little flare and I think some of these new plants is exactly what I need. So I'm going to try and create um, and growing in a crevice kind of look. So I've got two sedums. I'm contemplating. This one was called Star Carpet and uh, I was thinking about the name. It probably has the word carpet in it because it probably d grows like a ground cover um, and I guess you know it has a star sort of shape. Uh, but I'm more leaning towards this one because the colour is more attractive to me. And that's a sedum as well. This one was a spiral staircase. Reminds me of the multi-seps. I said that yesterday. I'm just looking over my shoulder. I can see some multi-seps to the side. So those are multi-seps. That's my lilac mound. It's doing okay. Not not um, totally flourishing, but that's all right. Anyway, so that that's the multi-sep. And uh, I don't know if some of you recall, but when I was doing that arrangement, I actually had clipped a few pieces and went straight into making cuttings um, so I think that's been effective because it definitely looks bigger more of it than I originally bought I'll see there's a piece here that's just sort of free floating so that's a cut um, just pop that in a bit better so I want to keep I want to do a similar thing basically so I'll go with the spirals staircase as I stated. I love the colour and I think this one might be just a little too dainty. Oh well this is a pleasant surprise. That's a little flower starting. Okay every time I see a flower I automatically think it's actively growing. So that even validates to me that right now if I do a few little snips on this it will respond and grow more stuff. Um, but I don't want to take too much off the mother plant. Oh look, see, there's a couple of pieces actually. Interesting. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So to me it looks like if I cut these off this would be great because this can still grow with the roots so I can still propagate that and we can um, start fresh ones with these and these look really quite delicious. Maybe I could just take a snip or two off that. Let's cut. My scissors need to be cleaned. But I don't care. Alright. I like that to keep that as a little bundle. Alright. Where now is the question? Hmm. This reminds me of another sedum I have in another arrangement where I have it growing in between uh, some other succulents. So I might actually imitate that. I'll just take off these older leaves here. They're probably on their way out anyway. And get me a little candlestick. Yeah, actually this is a good spot for it. Oh, oh, I love it already. And I'll put the flower there. Be interesting to see what the flower looks like. Okay, that's a little splash there. Where do you want to go? Little lovely. How about in here? 
<laughs> yes, I like he. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Okay. Isn't that color stunning? So I've just removed it out of the stock pot. Beautiful. Now, getting the, some roots in there. It will, it will, it will do fine regardless how much roots I get in there. But let's see. If anything, it might uh, stress it out more. And bring out some more colours. Let's see if I could just make a little cavity. Yeah, that's nice. This bowl is so big, there's so much you can fit in there. Right, now, is it this stuff? Okay, I think those little grab to peddlem cuttings is what I'm going to use. Just trying to give you guys a good angle. Should really cut that flower off. Sorry, it's not the best view. Um, don't know how to make it better. Oops. Ooh, these are really cute. Okay, I like it. I'm just sort of seeing a sort of a pathway. And that's what I was seeing yesterday in my little river. I might just put a little bit of something in there and with these bowl arrangements although it you know it depends on where and how you place it um, but you want to sort of create a different feel from different sides see, I'm, just, I'm not even going to cut that I just want that to stay whole you know, I don't want to make the plant feel vulnerable and have to grow roots and stuff unnecessarily if I don't have to Oh, that's really sweet. Yep, I think that in the crevice sort of look is getting shaved quite nicely. So these smaller vulnerable ones might do a bit better because they'll be sort of tucked away back there. What does it look like from this angle? Yeah, it's okay. Let's tuck that one in there. Okay. I, I really like this stuff and I think it's going to take off. I could put something different here, but I think I'm going to put some more in. Just It just feels like it just needs that little bit more. Oh yes, that is good. Love it, love this stuff. much was this stuff again? Let me look at the invoice. Not, I'm not thinking about buying more. I'm absolutely not thinking about buying any more. Eight dollars, hey? Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. No, I've got plenty here. If there's anything I should work in, that would look amazing as this stuff. Think about this one. This would look really good, like growing in the crevices. I think it will look just adorable in here. I really do. Oh, it already looks great, doesn't it? Okay, it's a winner. Like a delicate little operation. I'm going to tuck them in there. Maybe what I need to do is just lift that a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, 
That is it. That is done. Is that Chris straight in the back? Right, okay. So that looks absolutely adorable and it's I've created that desired look that I want. They look sweet. Well, you know, the Ben Badges is just stunning. The chromas, um, I think, have turned out really lovely now. I think these have really uh, complemented it beautifully. And hopefully my golden colour will start showing on the chroma. And I think it might be beginning to happen. So if that does, uh, I think that will work lovely as colours and then we've got this sort of soft grey pastel-y thing happening here which just sort of to ties into the overall tone of the stones and bowl so I am thrilled with this to be frank and there it is complete it only took me three stages three attempts to do it so much better than yesterday now with these bowl arrangements, if it looks good from every angle, you know you've done your job right. Before I leave, I just want to give you a quick reminder that this bowl and the rocks came from Rock and Stone in Malvern East, Victoria. And there will be links in my description to their website and Instagram page if you want to get yourself one of these gorgeous bowls or grab some of their pebbles. I believe they have a new shipment of new stock of pebbles coming in shortly. So that's exciting. And we are at the end of the video. So once again, I want to thank everybody who watches my videos. A big shout out to Jan. She's always supporting me and liking all my stuff on my socials. I do notice and I really appreciate it. So if you like this video, please give me a like. It would mean the world to me. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye for now. I wanted to sincerely thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel. Also, you can find me as S's with Succulents on my Instagram and Facebook page where I post daily photos with tips and information. So come and hang out with me there. It's a great place to chat and connect. Thank you.